Hi, Aunt Sarah. Hi, Aunt Sarah. I'm going to read a book to Reagan. And it's called Frozen Fever. Oh, it's Anna's birthday surprise. Queen Elsa was Princess, well, wait, Queen Elsa was excited today, today was Princess Anna's birthday. El, um, Elsa wanted to make sure her sister's special day was perfect. Elsa used her icy powers to decorate Anna's birthday cake. She even created a special ice decoration for the top figures of Anna and Elsa, ice skating happily together. Oh, here's the picture. Relax, Elsa, the cake looks great, called Kristoff, who was hanging a ban banner across the castle country, country yard. Come check this out. Elsa looked up to see paint dripping off the banner. The head started to prepare for the party very early that morning and now time was running sure are you sure i can leave you in charge she asked christoph christoph nodded as elsa dashed away keep an eye on the cake she called over the sh the, the shoulder here's the picture Elsa deployed into Anna's room and gently shook her sister. Wake up, sleepyhead. It's your birthday. Anna sat up and mumbled. It's a birthday. She fell back in, onto her bed snoring. Not a birthday. Your birthday. Elsa replied, you've never had a real birthday before. So we're going to make this one this one extra great. As Anna jumped out of her bed, Elsa sneezed just too tiny. Snowman popped into the air. Just then two tiny snowmen popped into the air, dropped to the floor, and scampered away. Neither sisters noticed. First a new dress first new dresses. Elsa said with a wave of her hands. She created a sparkly dress for each of them. She smiled and now for the presents. Here's the picture if you can't see it. Here's the picture if you can't see it. Laughing, laughing, the sisters followed as a long string that Elsa had wound thrown through the castle, leading Anna to different gifts. 
went through the castle leading on to different gifts. Inside a suit of armor, Anna found a bracelet inside. And in armor, she found an Olaf Kaku clock and a bouncy. There was a bouquet of sunflowers. Anna was delighted. Elsa sneezed again. More little snowman popped into the air and tumbled around. The girls still didn't notice the snowman disappeared into the country yard where Olaf was thrilled to see them. Little brother is he, he said proudly. Elsa followed the stream all over Arendelle. Along the way, uh, uh, Anna discovered more presents of family portrait, silk stockings, even a fishing pool. Yet Elsa was sneezing more often, and each time she sneezed, more little snowman appeared the girls didn't spot any of them finally anna said this day has been amazing but i think you might need to go home and rest no the best is Still ahead. Elsa said she led Anna to open shop where the presents her whistle. One Oakland's beautiful heavy clocks. Oaken stepped out of the sun and noticed Elsa sneezing. Have a medical remedy of my own invention here. Anna accepted the bottle of medicine. Gratefully, I think we're going to need that. Next, Elsa took Anna to the center of the village, where a children's choir began to sing. This is a special day. It's Princess Anna's birthday. Elsa turned in. Elsa turned to Anna, and we loved you too, Anna. Ah, ah, choo. More tiny snowman appeared and ran into the country yard. Kristoff, Sven, and Olaf tried to keep things under control, but snowmen were everywhere. Kristoff spotted several little snowmen crawling up to the cake. He grabbed Olaf's head like a bowling ball. Ball. And took aim. Incoming Olaf called as he rolled into the snowman, knocking them away from the cake. Suddenly, Sven let out the picket grunt. The little snowman had knocked Kristoff's Christoph, birthday banner to the ground. I'll fix it, said Olaf after he reviewed the letters he gave he gave he gave a satisfied smile all set but the banner wasn't quite the same as before wait where's the thing okay here's the banner
What do you want to think I'm doing? I'm not in 9%. Why do you want to think what I'm doing? I'm not. Make sure you shut that door. Sometimes I like shutting the door because sometimes I'm embarrassed. Meanwhile, Elsa had led Anna to the last stop. There was one more gift hidden at the top of the clock tower, but Anna's arms were overloaded with presents, and Elsa's cold was getting worse. Anna pleaded, pleaded with her sister, please, Elsa, you need to rest. Elsa wasn't listening. I thought she was feeling feverish. As she climbed the stairs to the top of the tower, it's your happy birthday. My best friend, she's, she's saying, happy jobby hot birthday. Suddenly, Elsa lost her balance. Anna dropped the gift. Uh, um, suddenly Elsa, suddenly Elsa lost her balance, Anna dropped the gifts and rushed to catch her Elsa. You're burning up with fever. We need to get you, get you to bed. I, to get you to bed. I guess I have a cold, Elsa admitted. She sighed as her sister helped her through the castle gates. I'm sorry, Anna, I ruined your perfect birthday. And Anna shook her hand. You didn't ruin my birthday. Every Everything was absolutely Surprise! Anna and Elsa stopped short. Short. Kristoff, Sven, and Olaf were all there, and Olaf, Sven, and Olaf were all there in the in the in the country yard, surrounded by hundreds of little snowmen. Everyone's saying, everyone, everyone's saying happy birthday while Anna, while Anna beamed in delight. Kristoff caught up into excellent, saying loudest, oh, happy birthday, I love you, Anna. Then he stopped, stunned by his own outburst. Anna grinned at him. Anna was still smiling. When she tucked Elsa into bed, into bed. Soon afterward, thank you, Elsa. She said that was the best birthday present ever. Elsa looked up at Anna. Which one? You finally letting me take care of you, said Anna. mountain not long after the party there were a knock at the door of ice palace marshmallow opened it and olaf led a party of little snowman said christoph christoph watched from the doorway don't ask he said he said to the marshmallow with a sigh
frozen forever. That's the end. I hope you guys like that story. Bye.